If you guys enjoy this content, please like, comment and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot and I would greatly appreciate it. If you would like access to more daily content from myself, please feel free to check out my Twitter and Telegram channel. Those links will also be in the description. Enjoy the video. Hi guys, Poster here and today we are going to look specifically at one coin and that one coin for today is VChain aka VET. Now we're going to take a look at the project itself before covering the USD and BTC pairings on a couple of different time frames and I'll be completely honest I haven't followed this coin super closely in a long time. Uh, there are many there aren't many coins really out there now from 2017 2018 times that are still thriving in today's market as most of the attention is now on these new shiny coins with a lot of hype around them. However, VeChain is one of the exceptions here. Uh, I traded VET quite a lot in the bear market actually. I knew it was fundamentally a, a solid project when it comes to the food industry and more specifically food safety on the blockchain. But it just kind of slipped off my radar and now I'm sat here making this video actually pretty pissed that I didn't pay close enough attention to it. But to get started, let's uh, do a quick overview of what VeChain is all about. So VeChain actually surprised me a little when I seen the market cap currently sat at $8 billion. And I know a lot of people have held this throughout the bear market and took a beating on their position over the years. So big congrats to the diamond hands who are still holding now. Um, I actually noticed that price is up around uh, 6,500% since the COVID crash last year. And as I mentioned, the bear market did kill off a fair few coins, but that has actually come back stronger. And I do think a lot of this is actually down to the solid fundamentals and the, you know, the supportive community behind the token itself. So, um, yeah, fair play to vet holders there. Um, and if you actually look on the VET website, we can see that it says that VET are the world's leading blockchain application platform driven by enterprise adoption. So that is what VeChain is all about. And as I mentioned earlier, um, it has made a huge mark in the food industry, specifically around the food safety on the blockchain, which is you know a huge and sustainable market to be working in, right? You know, we're always going to need to eat food and um, it definitely makes sense for VeChain to be able to stamp their authority in that sector and continue to build and work on their products from a fundamental standpoint. So now we've covered that very, very quickly about, you know, VeChain and what they're all about, but I just really want to get into the charts now and see how we could potentially play this in the short and long term. So we're going to start by taking a look at the VET BTC pairing. And I actually posted on Twitter around 10 days ago that I was looking for an entry at around 150 sats. Um, we could see that price broke a little bit of resistance there and I was hoping for a pullback at 150 before continuing onwards and upwards. Um, but I did mention that I was doing this manually because you know if Bitcoin was to rip then it may damage that and it may lose the structure that I was looking for. So unfortunately being the lapper that i am i completely missed that entry and switched off and you know as we can see from the current chart price actually went on to tap that level with some decent daily closes above 150 um with a couple of wicks below which weren't too concerning on this time frame and then from there we've actually seen price go on to move like 40 45 percent so yeah big congrats to me on missing that one um but if we actually look at the chart zoomed out a little bit here we can see that price is actually moving into a level of resistance here from the um, daily highest daily close of last year you know price was um, looking to rally over the summer when alts had a you know an alt season around July August time and from there now we can actually see that price is just above the level but what I really want to see now in terms of playing this on the daily time frame is a clean break and close above the level and then retesting it over the weekend maybe next week um, as support and continuing upwards so that would be the ideal play to keep the momentum going on V chain um, however if you know price was to close below the level you know it's not really something that I would want to enter in right now we may see a bit of a pullback and offer opportunity for entry before trying again um, but the, the real key level for me in terms of daily bullish structure is to flip that level at one um, sorry at 215 that kind of area and go ahead and move on to higher highs from there so that's what I'm looking for on the daily uh, if we actually take a look at the weekly 
we can see that price is actually nowhere near the highs that it made around 2018 before you know suffering incredibly um, during the bear market so price was in a serious downtrend for many years um, broke out last summer when we obviously seen alt start to rally and things really changed at that point and then even towards the end of last year we seen a pretty harsh pullback back towards the lows before now looking upwards and attacking them highs from last year so I'm going to move this daily level for the time being but what I want to see now from a weekly perspective is I can see a level here that interests me quite a lot on the weekly time frame so we can see that um, we use this level as resistance here we didn't see a weekly close above it last year but we're actually well above it now so if we can close the week up here it may be worth considering um, you know some kind of retest of this level setting some bids at around 200 195 and then we may see some continuation and the areas that I would be looking at then um, is around these highs here at around 250 245 and then also the highs well above there from 2018 which are sat at around 320 so in terms of potential on that even though it's run pretty significantly recently if we are and we are in a bull market not if um, we are in a bull market there is plenty of room for upside things do tend to go a lot higher than people expect and also a lot lower as we can see from the bear market over the last couple of years um, but to be honest, if we were to close uh, below this level, then I'd just be waiting. You know, I'd, I'd either be looking at a pullback back towards that 160 area, which may align quite nicely with the uh, daily time frame. But what I do want to see is some continuation. So if we can get that close and that retest, that is the perfect scenario for me to play personally in a bullish, um, bullish conditions, but also on top of that, an alt season. Okay, so now looking at the VET USD pairing, starting on the weekly time frame, and in my opinion personally, I find it quite difficult to trade off a chart like this on its own. You know, price has just been ripping um, for, throughout 2021, and it makes it very difficult to work with levels when, you know, there's just up only pretty much. So I think a few things that we can actually take from this is, you know, how we can actually see how strong Bitcoin has been this year for the USD pairing chart to look like this, but the BTC pairing, you know, to be pinned back considerably compared to, you know, old all time high values in, in Satoshi's, you know, it actually shows that Bitcoin has been very strong as well this year, as we many of us will be aware, um, and how that's kind of had an impact on the performance of alts um, so far this year. The other thing is to just highlight how powerful price discovery in a bull market can actually be. So we can see here that at these old highs at around this level, um, we finally actually broke through that. It wasn't the cleanest break and retest, but once it reclaimed that level and, and really got going um, earlier this year, you know, there was no stopping it. Price discovery was just on one, and um, yeah, there was no slowing down for that. And even right now, you know, price has just made a new high literally as we are recording this, and we've seen price hit 12.5 cents. So what I'm kind of looking at more specifically on lower time frames, so we can actually see on the daily time frame that there was a um, ascending triangle here that I'm quite a fan of. I like to trade them in, especially in bullish conditions. So um, price was capped with no daily closes above the 94 cent. Uh, sorry, I keep saying that uh, 9.4 cent level. Um, and then when price did finally break through, we seen a retest here when the market violently dumped a couple of days back, but it only tapped the highest wick. What I would be looking for, if possible, is to actually get a cleaner retest and entry um, down here. Sorry, let me back that out better. That's yeah. So I want to see a cleaner retest actually lower down, and it may seem unli unlikely right now. It may never happen, but one thing that I've learned in this market is, you know, nothing is a, a sure thing. We shouldn't talk in absolutes and there's no harm in leaving some bids there just in case, you know, there is a extremely violent market dump or, you know, one huge whale who accumulated a load of V-chain over the bear market finally wants to buy his Lambo and, and his big mansion. So, you know, you can't rule it out completely. Um, it may be unlikely, but we'll just have to see if they get filled, they get filled. If they don't, they don't. Um, however, if you are not willing to wait for an entry that low down, 
it may be worth then coming down to the four hour chart. So if I do that now, we can actually see that. That's better. So since we kind of broke out of there, we've seen a number of uh, higher highs and higher lows as the market has continued, well, as VET has continued to ramp on. So we can see here that there's a few highs and lows that we've marked out. And now that price is making its next high, where that stops, we don't know. I'm not interested in buying right now, but what I want to look for is a potential entry on that next higher low that it makes. And on the four hour, we can see that we've probably got an area here at uh, this level. Let me just get my magnet back on. So we could probably look at something around there where we'd like to see price make a logical next higher low. So you may see something like this where you know price continues a little bit further, comes back into this level and then continues its trend upwards. So around that kind of 11 to 12 cent area where we may see price pull back, if the overall market is to see a pullback in the next few days, it may be that that taps into that level um, and offers a decent entry. Um, I would be looking more towards 11.5 cents. I think that is where I'd ideally want to enter a shorter term trade on the four hour time frame. But as mentioned on the daily time frame, going even lower down wouldn't concern me too much. I think it'd offer a great opportunity for an entry. So that is it for today's video on VeChain. I do think that a combination of fundamental analysis and technical analysis on a coin that is in a strong trend can offer some great opportunities in these market conditions. So that is definitely definitely back on my radar. Uh, I won't be making that mistake again. Um, this was something slightly different as I was only looking at one coin in a little more detail. But if you did enjoy it and would like to see more of these kinds of videos, uh, please like the video and also drop me a comment below to let me know which coins you would like me to take a look at next. But yeah, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.